in the previous modules we discussed two workplaces separately one was office the other was a factory no this time we are doing another thing in this module a person is female she works in an office and uh, she also deals with her family at home our question is whether this person uses the same style of authority at office and at home let's see the arrival of women we know from uh, the example of china that we have discussed in earlier modules that women are joining increasingly the men's profession the arrival of women in men's professions has invited attention to two issues two issues have been risen as a result of their arrival number 1 what language do women use to realize authority in office number 1 and number 2 what language do women use to realize parental authority at home they enjoy authority at both places at one place they are boss of the office and the other place they have authority and this authority is parental authority women use different face saving strategies when they are at work they try to use face saving strategies to control their children at home and to work with their subordinates at office it means they use the same type of discourse at both places when they talk they use face saving strategies what are they you will know very shortly first of all i would remind you what is a face we have discussed it when we uh, studied feminist pragmatics if you remember there we talked about politeness and positive face and negative face which are expectations for uh, saving each other's public face so let's first decide what is a face a face is speakers expectations from each other about the protection of their public image the speaker expects that the addressee would accept him or her he needs positive face expectation the addressee expects from the speaker that the speaker would take care of distance from me would not impose himself or herself on me he wants to maintain distance this is called negative face to come closer is positive face to remain at distance is negative face speaker wants positive face addressee wants negative face okay so both take care of each other's face are public women issue directives in form of suggestions we have said that when they talk in office they are head over there they have to issue orders and orders are issued in imperatives but see when they use imperatives uh, when they uh, issue orders they try to avoid imperatives they issue orders in form of suggestions oh that's too dry you have to make it snappier mail manager we are comparing features mail manager if he points out something so he would say directly 
देर स्टूड राइ यू हैव टू मेक टू मेक हैव टू मेक दीज एक्सप्रेशन शो कंपल्शन नेसेसिटी अब्लीगेशन यू मस्ट डू वेट ओके यू माइट पुट इन परेंथीसिस नी इफ ए फीमेल बॉस चेक्स समथिंग सम लेटर एक्सेट्रा एंड शी पॉइंट्स आउट ए मिस्टेक टू दी सबॉर्डिनेटर तो शी वुड प्रजेंट इट लाइक दिस यू माइट पुट दीज थिंग्स इन परेंथीसिस इन राउंड ब्रैकेट तो दिस इज इन अ वे ऑफ सजेशन कंपेयर द मेल्स स्टाइल ऑफ टॉक एंड फीमेल स्टाइल similarly another example if at home the see the style of the father turn the bolt with the wrench direct and now mother could you turn the bolt with the wrench she is using modal and modals are used in form of question and these are not real questions these are indirect requests she would use either modal or the wheel is going to fall off this is indirect way of requesting fathers and male managers in these short exchanges which i have uh, discussed here so if we put fathers and male managers on one side they are direct and less polite whereas women manager and women as mothers they are less direct and more polite mothers give reasons and justifications for their directives if ever they issue directives they justify those directives they use politeness forms for example please thank you uh, excuse me women managers use language of mothers to show motherly authority and solidarity at home they also enjoy authority cultural authority the same kind of authority they exercise when they are working with their subordinate same strategies at home and office face saving strategy these face saving strategies which we have selected from and the research that was conducted on women managers they are being put in form of a list here directive in questions with modal when they issue directives orders so they issue them in form of questions which start with modals you know would could should they are modal auxiliaries these are modals they use tag questions they use pre request see one example of each would you double check that for me she is giving a direction with would would that be okay this is a tag question there is ask for confirmation is it okay and then could you do me a favor before asking for a favor some task or work first of all she makes a pre request that comes before the main request it's not direct request second directives are issued as suggestions and when directives are issued as suggestions what happens the effect is that the addressee thinks that we both are joined in this task in this work for example and then you can bring the plate over to daddy family is sitting at a dinner table and the mother wants that the daughter or the son passes over the plate to the father now she she says and then you can bring the plate over to daddy i think both of these should be accepted for example if she is in office in that context the second utterance would mean uh, a suggestion this is a direction but i think makes it a suggestion i think both of these should be accepted both of these applications or both of these projects should be accepted then 
use of just and little this is common in their style of talk just draft up a little memo to him so this is also is instead of saying draft up a little memo just the addition of just mitigates the lessens the decreases the effect of a direct order number 4 directives as statement of need and obligation directives are issued with some weight definitely otherwise the subordinates won't take them seriously but the directives are issued by emphasizing the need of something you should or have to or supposed to finish it no these words have emphasis emphasis on what that it should be done it must be done number 5 unmitigated but not harsh wash your hands before starting your meals everybody says this is everybody a would accept it nobody would mind it if someone says or remind someone wash your hands you are going to die number 6 aim personalized directives if directives are given they are given in such a style that both speaker and addressee are not talking with each other it is about some third person and uh, often we also use it for example use of we or let's or passive voice it is said people say that and uh, existential there is used uh, there is need of something uh, there are three possibilities so we start with there or we use general you general you it is not direct order to the addressee so we conclude women use directives in offices and at home to realize their authority number 2 they use face saving strategies while performing their authority men do the opposite they are more direct and less polite and face saving strategies definitely are gendered here we see that women dominate in the use of these strategies